All right, guys, we're going to be solving question 27 from the second chapter of the Mechanics of Materials by Bjorn Johnson. And in this one, each of the links A, B, and C, D is made of aluminum. We have the elastic modulus for the aluminum and has a cross-sectional area of 0.2 inches squared. We know that they support the rigid member B, C at the bottom of this here. And we need to determine the deflection of point E where it would be uh, somewhere in here so uh, we're going to start with the free body diagram of the member bc so we obviously have the force p that is applying at point e here which is one kip and the two member a b and c d we can figure out that they will be in tension therefore the force that is applying from the member to joint b would be upward we can call it f a b and we're going to have the same scenario in here the member will be in tension so based on the newton's law this force has to be in the opposite which is upward that would be f dc if we look at the elastic modulus we'll see that we have psi which would be pound per inch squared so we have to go with pounds and here we have one kip which we know is 1000 pounds and we have our equilibrium assumption we have three equations for that which are sum of all forces in x equals zero sum of all forces in y equals zero and we're going to have one moment equation about any points that we want so this will be our b and this will be our point c so we can start with our moment equation obviously we don't have any forces in x direction so that's not going to help us at all we're left off with these two unknowns and two forces of fab and fdc with two equations so we should be able to find all the unknowns I'm going to start with the moment equation it really doesn't matter going with point b or c i'm going to go with point c counterclockwise positive as always so we're going to have the moment of the force p which is in this direction so it will be counterclockwise so it will be positive 1000 times the distance from e to c which is 22 that's the moment of p and the moment of fab as we can see will be clockwise so negative fab times the distance between b and c which is 32 and this is going to be equal to zero and we can find fab in here so fab is basically 22,000 divided by 32 or 687.5 pounds and as we mentioned we know that the member is in tension so we're gonna be expecting a positive deflection a positive deformation for each of these two member a b and dc so elongation will be positive let's just calculate the elongation for a b we're gonna have the force in a b times the length of a b over elastic modulus times cross section so the elastic uh the force that we have is what we found in this step 687.5 the length of member AB is 18 inches. And we're going to divide that by 10.9 times 10 to the 6. Our E and the cross sectional area 0.2. And let's calculate this. So 687.5 times 18 divided by 10 to the 6 times 0.2. So this is going to be 5.677 times 10 to the minus 3 inches. That would be the deformation of member AB, which is the deflection of point B. I'm going to show it with delta B. So we're going to do the same thing for FDC, but uh, now we have a different equation. We're going to use the second one sum of all forces in y equals zero so we're gonna have fab plus and i'm just gonna put the value for fab so 687.5 minus p which is 1000 pounds plus fdc is equal to zero and fdc would be 1000 minus uh, 687.5 which is going to be 312.5 pounds 
Again, we know this one's also in tension too, and we're going to use the same formula. 312.5 times the length. So we're going to have the same length for both of them, CD and AB. So again, 18 over the rest is pretty same, pretty much the same. So let's see what we get in here. So as I mentioned, everything is the same. It's just we're going to have different force in here, which is 312.5. And this is going to be 2.58 times 10 to the minus 3 inches. And this would be the deflection of point C. So what we're interested in here, it would be the deflection of the point E, which we're going to show it with point E. And the way we're going to look at this is that we're going to consider this member BC here. So we're going to have B in here and C in here. So the deflection of the BC, as we talked about, the member would be in tension. So we'll be go down. So this line would be kind of a reference for us, which we're going to go down this much. For point B, which is delta B, and that's what we found for delta B, same scenario for E, that point is has the force E, which is putting it downward. So another deflection for uh, E in here too. And I'm just going to show it like that. And for C, uh, that one's also going down because the member is again in tension. So we're going to call this delta C. And all of these have the same slope. And if we try to make a right triangle in here they're going to have the same slope which is the theta and that's how we can find uh, the deflection of point E based on these values that we have uh, so we just have to figure out what values do we have in here we know this distance is 10 inches and we're going to have 22 in here so I'm going to consider this right ten, uh, right triangle in here where, so if I look at this right triangle, the green one in here, uh, this side would be basically uh, delta E minus delta C. And the slope would be this side over 22. And the other right triangle that I'm considering here would be uh, this one that I'm showing in light blue. So this side in here would be delta B minus delta C and the length would be 10 plus 22, which is 32. And both of these two would be basically tangent of theta or the slope of this. So we can conclude that these two are actually equal and that's how we find the uh, delta E in here, which is the unknown. So if you just cross multiply this, we can conclude that I'm just going to write it here just to show you guys the steps. 32 is equal to delta E minus delta C over 22. So we just have to cross multiply this. I'm going to keep the delta in here. That means I have to, uh, first of all, let's just multiply 22 in here, delta B minus delta C, and we're going to add delta C in here too. So the rest of this is calculating this, 22 over 32, we found delta B in here, uh, 5.6. 7, 7, I'm going to factor the minus 10 here too. So 10 to the minus 3 and minus delta C, which is what we found 2.58. And we're going to add 2.58 times 10 to the minus 3 at the end. And let's see what we get. So 22 divided by 32 times 5.677. 
minus 2.58 plus 2.58 and this is going to give us the deflection of point A 4.709 times 10 to the minus 3 inches and the final answer for this question and what I did in my calculation in years I just factored 10 to the minus 3 and I added at the end and yeah that's that's pretty much and we can see the deflection would be in this direction as we figured we we're going down the reference line that we have in here um hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one